I know it's been a while since I've been on YouTube with my uh, sculpting and I do apologize for that uh, and uh, also so just well the artists go through a period of well just lack of imagination I know that may be hard to believe but uh, even the best artists have dry spells and I've been suffering through one and I plan to get back to work today on this Viking. Um, so let's go to work without any further ado. I think what I'm going to basically do now is just get his body sketched in. And then we'll go from there. So his head needs to come up. And uh, I'm just doing the measurements, head measurements. Two heads wide in the shoulders is ideal. One and a half heads down to just about, uh, well, the center of the shoulders, which I got right there. And uh, two heads down to the bottom of his rib cage, which I've got. And then another head let's see one two three four okay that's where his groin should be okay one and a half heads down to his elbow one and a, well just a little more than a half a head and then one and a half heads <coughs> to his wrist, which is right there. Like I said, I'm just just a sketch. Nothing uh, solid or lay down just got to start out with the right uh, tools it's one and a half to the uh, elbow which is right there to the wrist okay Now what you may hear going on in the background is my uh, heat kicking in. Yeah, that's a better way to do it. I think I'll just do that. It's a miracle I can do anything. It's so damn clumsy. I'm going to do is try to screw in. And then prop up the body with this. Yeah, that should work. And then I can pull it out if I want to. Using some trusty electrician's tape, I tape the stick to the uh, screw. The clay is really soft because uh, I had my light too low to the uh, or too close to the clay, so it's starting to firm up a little bit, which is good. Now 
Now a lot of people ask me what kind of clay I use and I'll tell you it's a I'm using a JMAC NSP soft clay. You can soften it up uh, with a 100 watt uh, light bulb and uh, I think they're still available those 100 watt bulbs. I want to give this guy kind of a heroic look to him. So I'm going to take the uh, usual proportions and maybe blow them out a little bit, but not much. I don't want to look like a cartoon. Plotting out the uh, center line of his body. Now they don't sell these anymore, this uh, silicone tip tool, but, and I apologize for using something you can't, but uh, I have to use the tools I got.
building up his pecs because I can imagine him to have very strong pecs from swinging an axe around or a or swinging a sword around or Sorry, I didn't know that my light camera was off. It turns off after 20 minutes, and if I don't think about it, I don't catch it. No, it doesn't look like much yet. Um, I may be screwing it up, but uh, it'll it'll work out. Well, I've got to break off because I knew this was going to be a short day, but. Uh, Took me longer to get started than I thought it was going to take me. I'll pick this up tomorrow, and what I'll do is I'll think I'll work on his face tomorrow. 
just to get some kind of character that I can build up the rest of this character with. So today, tonight it was just uh, working on the upper part of his body, trying to sketch that in a little bit, get the uh, armature stabilized at least a little bit. It still ain't perfect, but it's better than it was. So tune in tomorrow and uh, we'll continue this Viking. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.